Hi, everybody. I'm Dawn Hoops. I'm one of the school social workers here uh, in the district. And a couple months ago, back in the spring, um, I'm actually a part of a board, Joe Warner and I are, as well as Alicia. It's called the Pennsylvania Association of School Social Workers and Personnel. Um, we had a big conference in Hershey two, week, uh, two weeks ago or last week, where actually um, Joe Warner was going to be presented with the Social Worker of the Year Award. Joe is unaware of this. So Joe, if you could come up. Yeah. 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 Joe, Joe is unaware of the award that he was going to be presented with this award. Um, nominations go across the state, and it started last year in March. So um, how it works is social workers from across the state nominate individuals, and then there certainly is one that rises to the top. I actually had the honor of I nominated Joe, um, and then I sent out no his nomination, and um, Joe was picked as the social worker of the year. Um, it is a huge, huge honor. And like I said, he was going to be presented with, you were going to be presented with the award at the, in Harrisburg with state officials, but Joe got sick. So Joe did not come. Um, a lot of the administrators here were coming to see Joe get the award, um, but they did not they were unable to do that because Joe was sick. So we decided to do it here today. Um, I wanted to, I think our, where is Alicia Landgraf? Okay, I have two students that I'd like to call up, Amanda and Chloe. And as they're coming up, I just kind of wanted to let you know what I had um, talked about when I had made the nomination for Joe. Um, what I wrote was, Joe is the definition, if there is one, of social worker of the year. He goes above and beyond in everything that he does for his students, school, community, and county in which he works. He is humble and never boasts about what or how he is making an impact. He stays extra long hours to help students, parents, colleagues, or even community members. He does this almost every single day. And I'm sure that folks who stay late know that. I mean, sometimes Joe doesn't leave here until 7 o'clock at night when we're out picking up kids at beginning at 5.30 in the morning, which I'm sure that a lot of the staff here does not know. Um, and as I said, he does this almost every day. He always has someone else's best interest in mind. He tries to get creative in ways to lend support if support is not available, and he is usually successful. He never complains, and he always is positive. Joe does countless things outside of his job description to make our district a better place. Joe makes kids feel special by celebrating their birthdays and their successes. This year, or actually last year, we have, and I'm sure that you have been touched by things that Joe has done. One of, um, and I'll give you just a quick little example. Last year we had a young man who um, actually was a homeless individual. He wanted to go to prom. He had no money to go to prom. So with the help of some of our staff here, we were able to get a ticket. Joe went above and beyond to make sure that this young man, this six foot seven, size 14, size 14 shoe, uh, huge uh, young man, got a special sized custom made tuxedo so that he could go to the prom. I see, I see you nodding your head, head there. Um, we, have we have a great picture. And um, Joe went down, he picked up the suit, he made sure that everything was done. We had transportation. And when I tell you how happy this individual was, it was, it was beyond belief. He it was one of the kids who he said, oh, I don't wanna go, I don't need to go. And it was because he didn't have the money. He didn't have the transportation and he didn't have the clothes to fit him. So in the beginning, we were like, just wear whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Just wear a button down shirt. It really doesn't matter. But like I said, Joe wanted to make him feel a part of the school community. So he went above and beyond. And when I tell you that this is a lasting, a, a lasting rite of passage for this kid that Joe made happen, he will remember it for the rest of his life. His mom has countlessly thanked us over and over and over again. Joe does things like this all the time. I am new to the district. I've only been here a little bit over a year. I've known Joe for a long time, um, since I was a teenager. <laughs> and um, 
just to work with Joe makes me a better professional. It makes me a better person. I learn things every single day through Joe's kindness, through how he talks to individuals, how, how your voice is. I mean, I learn from you every single day and I thank you and I really feel honored not only to give you the award, but to be your, to be your, your partner and your colleague. So I, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> This is, this is Amanda, and Amanda would like to say a couple things. And I, I would like to also say that a lot of the, some of the other children at school did know about it, but they had other commitments, but they certainly would have loved to speak on Joe's behalf. And just quickly, I'm gonna tell you a, a, a little story. I did let Amanda in on what was happening at the, and, um, in Harrisburg. Amanda was so excited that she went to the Sunshine Foundation. She's like, you're never going to guess. Mr. Warner's getting an award and we have to give him something. We have to do something. She didn't know that Joe was sick. So Joe comes in on Monday and there's something from the Sunshine, Sunshine Foundation on the door that says, you know, congratulations on your state award. So Joe calls me when I'm over at South and says, do you know anything about this? And I'm like, mm, don't know anything. Don't, I don't have any ideas here. No idea. And it kind of went, went on and on from that. But I mean, it just goes to show that, you know, I really appreciate you going to other people because you were that excited about what Joe has done for, for you. So I'm gonna, I'll give you, the, give you the stage. Okay, can you guys hear me? Can Here you hear me? Go. Okay. So I remember being in 10th grade and thinking it was one of the hardest years I've ever had as a student. My attendance was at an all time low as well as my grades until one day I was introduced to someone that goes by the name Mr. Warner. He was able to push me through my year, bringing me into school whenever he could, helping me with my academics along with my mental health. Thanks to him, school has definitely become a more enjoyable and safe space for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Chloe. Um, so I was thinking of a quote um, we rise by lifting others. It's something we, we really have all heard um, somewhere, whether it's on a t-shirt or a billboard on a road. Um, it brings to mind those people in life who really live for others and are um, the embodiment of servant leadership. So um, Mr. Warner is one of those people. He has an extremely kind heart to always place the needs of others above his own. He's an advocate for the mental health and the well-being of Pennard students and works tirelessly to make each person he encounters feel welcomed and loved. We are truly so blessed to have you here at Penridge High School, Mr. Warner. Thank you so much for all you Thank do. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And I wanted to thank everybody for staying a couple minutes today just to honor Joe. Um, Joe, here is here's your uh, your beautiful award for Social Worker of the Year, which is well deserved. So, thank you. congratulations. Thank you. thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for being here. Yeah. Yeah. Did you meet Dawn? No, hi, I'm Dawn Hoops. Nice to meet you.